Hi everyone, so you are also looking for the internships and placements. You are applying everywhere but your profile is not getting shortlisted. Your resume is getting rejected. So this video will be very helpful for all of you because I am going to talk about an internship opportunity where you will be getting 87,000 as the stipend and if converted full time you will be getting 16 to 25 lakh per annum as the package. So watch the video till the end because I will be telling you some very important tips to clear the online assessment, how to get your resume shortlisted, what is all asked in the technical interviews, how to prepare for aptitude. So let's start the video. So Morgan Stanley is hiring for spring and summer analyst for the next year. If you work well in your internship, you can get the offer of PPO like you will be converted to a full time employee in Morgan Stanley. So Morgan Stanley is a global leader in financial services and institutional securities. It is one of the most prestigious firm to begin your career, career with. You can visit the company's careers page for the students and graduate and there you need to create an account on their portal if you don't have already one and then upload your details and resume and then apply on this. So talking about the selection process of this internship there will be four steps. So first you need to apply on their careers page. Then you will be having your OA after getting the resume shortlisted. Only the shortlisted students will get the online assessment link. And after that you will be having two to three technical plus HR interviews. And then you will be doing an internship in the Morgan Stanley. Their locations are Mumbai or Bangalore. Okay. So talking about the online assessment, you will have three sections in the online assessment the aptitude debugging and dsa questions so there will be a test window of two hours during which you need to complete the test however the test duration will be of 80 minutes so in aptitude you can expect 10 to 12 questions to be solved in 20 to 25 minutes this will be of easy to medium level mcq questions it will include your logical reasoning data interpretation numerical ability questions and also there will be no negative marking but you could neither skip the question and nor change the answer to the previous questions so attempt it very carefully okay for aptitude i have prepared a proper placement resources pdf so kindly check that i have attached the pyq also of aptitude questions so make sure you click on the pdf link and check the pdf okay so there are four youtube channels for aptitude you can surely check these the first one is online study for you Second one is Smart Study for Career. Third one is Career Ride Official. And fourth is Chandan Logics. So these four YouTube channels will help you to prepare for your aptitude test. Okay. Because the fintech companies generally have aptitude in their OA online assessment. So prepare well accordingly. Okay. Then other than aptitude, you will have debugging questions based on C++ or Java. This section will assess the candidate skill to diagnose and identify any error in the code and then fix them. So code snippets will be given to you and then the candidates need to identify the bugs in them if any and then fix them. Okay. So these will be of uh, MCQ types. So multiple choice questions um, you can expect from operating systems, data structures and aptitude as I've already mentioned. So after the MCQ, you will have two sections like uh, you will have two questions of the DSA. Basically, there are two sections in the OA. First is the MCQ and another is the DSA questions. So you can expect two to four DSA questions and uh, giving you some examples of previous year and DSA questions like uh, get an array B such that B I has the product of all numbers of A except A. Then spiral level order tra traversal, longest common substring, add to link list. This is very simple. Okay. Then simple count the numbers in the given range, which comprises of the five numbers. Standard DP problem you can also encounter like coin change. Okay. It is all right even if you are not able to arrive at the most efficient solution, but submit the brute approach and get the partial points. Okay. Don't leave the entire solution, but write something in it so that the partial test cases get passed. So each section is timed. So don't spend too much time on a single question because it will be more about time and stress management than the technical skills. You need to attempt the right question as well as in the correct timing. Okay. So if you clear this online assessment, you will have two to three technical and HR interviews. So coming back to this 
DSA questions list. I will attach this in the description. Also, the placement resources PDF which I have made. It is like consisting of everything: CS fundamentals, operating system, computer networks, DSA aptitude. So make sure you check the description and apply. Okay, application link is also in the description. So once you clear the online assessment, then you will get a call from HR or get the mail that you will have the these number of interviews basically two to three technical interviews you can expect and along with the technical they can ask you hr questions in the technical also so prepare accordingly for technical interviews prepare your cs fundamentals very thoroughly you will have detailed discussion on your projects for knowing the interview questions you can watch this video where my friend puja has shared her experience uh, with morgan stanley and she even received the internship offer also she did her internship this year like 2024 summer so watch her interview experience with Morgan Stanley. You can also face HR questions in this, like uh, what all team projects you have worked on, where you had leadership role, who led the projects, how did you manage one of your team members didn't work, these type of HR questions, like how did you work on your studies when online, why do you want to join Morgan Stanley, what do you know about the company, its business? Do you know any leaders in the industry? So knowing about the company is also very important as the part of the interviews. Because during the interview, you don't know where the interview can go. Like uh, from core subjects to DSA to HR, from HR to DSA to core subjects, anything they can cover, okay? As I mentioned, there will be two technical and HR interviews. So prepare well. And for the interviews, watch my interview series playlist. I will give its link in the description where I am uploading the videos for various interview questions like uh, how you can expect the questions from OOPS, Java, Core Java, DBMS, SQL. So watch that playlist also. Everything is in the description. So description can be proved to be a boon for you. Then coming to most important part, resume. If you feel that your resume is not looking good, you can fill a form given in the description to get it reviewed by your seniors who are placed at Amazon, Cisco, Zomato or Microsoft and they will review your resume so that you get shortlisted in the resume screening round. Because sometimes we have mistakes in our resume, some sections are not properly aligned. So we need to review, get it reviewed by some seniors and then upload on the portal. Okay. I will give the resume template of Google Step Intern also in the description. So make sure you check the description. I'm repeating it again and again. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the com comment section. In the nutshell, you will need to apply on the careers portal. Then after resume screening round, you will be having online assessment. In that, you will have aptitude. For that, check the description. Then along with the aptitude, you will have CS fundamentals also, MCQs. Then you will have two to four DSA questions. That DSA questions list I will give, but don't stick to those questions only because they are previous year questions, okay? And after you clear the online assessment, you will have technical interviews, technical plus HR. For interviews, you can watch the video of Pooja where she has shared her interview experience with Morgan Stanley, okay? So apply for this opportunity, get your resume shortlisted, clear the aptitude test, clear the coding test, clear two to three technical or HR interviews and get your internship in third or fourth year. And if you perform well you're in, a, in your internship, then you can get the pre-placement offer. Like you can be converted to a full-time employee also in the Morgan Stanley. Then you can expect the package of 16 to 25 LPA, which is obviously not bad for the freshers, okay? So apply for this opportunity. And if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section, okay? See you, bye.